All right, tutorial question four. Determine the temperature at which root mean square speed of a helium molecule is 1.3 times greater than the root mean square speed at the temperature of 310 Kelvin. Okay, so uh, what I need to find is um, I need to find a temperature. Uh, given another temperature, so we have two different temperature. Uh, the given temperature I put as T1. So the one I need to find, of course, I put T2. Okay, so two different temperature. Temperature is not the same. Temperature is changing. Uh, we have temperature 1 and temperature 2. And uh, at which uh, root mean square speed? Okay, the next thing he, he give is the, about the root mean square speed. We have two different root mean square speed. Root mean square speed. At this temperature 2 is 1.3 times greater than the root mean square speed at temperature 1. That means uh, uh, this the root mean square speed for temperature 2 I put as VRMS2. Okay, I put as VRMS2. Uh, and the root mean square speed at temperature 1 I put as VRMS1. Is the root mean square speed the same? They are not the same because you say VRMS2 is 1.3 times greater than VRMS1. So different VRMS, different root mean square speed. What is the same? Ah, he's saying that this question is uh, circulating about helium molecule only. Yeah, it's about helium molecule. He's saying that uh, the root mean square speed of helium this temperature 2 is uh, 1.3 times greater than the, and the speed of helium also at another temperature. So, the thing constant here is the mass. Uh, the mass is, the mass of one molecule is constant. Okay, we are using, just now, uh, the question 3, we are using two different molecules. We are using hydrogen and nitrogen hydrogen and nitrogen only the temperature is constant uh, this time our temperature changing our temperature changing uh, we are using uh, unlike the, the question three just now we use two different uh, two different molecule hydrogen and nitrogen now we just use helium only one molecule only one molecule so the mass is constant okay the mass is constant so now uh, whenever I have two different objects, uh, two different situation, uh, one and two, I uh, always put in two different column. See, so uh, condition one and condition two. So condition one, I have VRMS one, and then we have I have temperature one, temperature one in Kelvin. Okay, good. Already in SI unit, Kelvin. Yeah. Make sure you must use SI unit. Uh, uh, as already in uh, SI unit Kelvin. Yeah. If degree Celsius, yeah, degree Celsius, you must change to Kelvin. Remember this equation. Uh, this in this chapter actually in this chapter all the equation for all the equation P V equal to N R T P V to N K T. Uh, this V R M S formula equal to square root three K T over M. Uh, um, all these equation, this temperature must always in Kelvin. Uh, must always in unit Kelvin. You must change to Kelvin. If degree Celsius, you must change to Kelvin. If you you remain at degree Celsius, then you are wrong. You get wrong answer. Okay, good. So um yeah, and then uh for condition two, I have uh, VRMS two. Uh, which is one point, he said that the VRMS2 is 1.3 times greater than VRMS1. VRMS2 is 1.3 times greater than VRMS1. Put, I just put like that, okay, because it didn't give value. It didn't give value, so um, it didn't give value. I just put as VRMS1 and VRMS2. Uh, he said VRMS2 is 1.3 times greater than VRMS1. Okay, I just put like that. And temperature 2 is the target I need to find. Temperature 2 for this VRMS2. Okay? 
So what formula given? Uh, what formula? Uh, what formula we use? Uh, this between VRMS and temperature. Okay, the VRMS and temperature. So this formula. VRMS equal to square root 3KT over M. Uh, 3KT over M. So what is constant? You're using only one, uh, one gas, one gas, which is helium. So the mass is constant. Uh, the mass is constant. So 3K over M. This 3K over M is constant. Uh, this constant will disappear uh, when we divide. Yeah, when we divide Fang simultaneous equation. This 3k over m will be cancelled out, will be disappear. What remains is only the VRMS and temperature. Okay? So we can say VRMS is proportional to square root temperature. Yeah, 3k over m disappear already. Okay, so now um, VRMS at the top, temperature also at the top. Okay, they at the same level, you see? Same level. So VRMS at the top. So it's just uh, at the same level. Temperature also at the top. Okay? At the top. So, uh, VRMS and temperature, same level. So, when we uh, do simultaneous equation, equation, equation 2 divided by equation 1. Okay? Uh, then, uh, if we are, yeah, uh, we want to find temperature 2, isn't it? Uh, temperature 2, so it's better you to, to, to put the one you, you want to find. The things that you need to find, you put at the top. Okay, put it at the top. Uh, so, uh, that's why I use equation 2 divided by equation 1. And then I get this. Okay? Uh, in a uh, in nutshell, uh, VRMS at the top, temperature also at the top. Same level. So, when number 2, VRMS 2 at the top, temperature 2 also at the top. Same level. When VRMS 1 at, at bottom, temperature 1 also at bottom. Same level, understand? Same level. Uh, not like the, the question before. Uh, when VRMS at the top, molar mass at below, uh, then this one it become opposite direction. Yeah, VRMS two at the top, molar mass at molar mass two at the bottom. So uh, opposite. But for this question, because the VRMS and temperature at the same level. So when VRMS 2 at the top, temperature 2 at the top. VRMS 1 at the bottom, temperature 1 at the bottom. Same level. Okay, so enough of that. So let us substitute the information given and we are good to go. Yeah? We will get the same answer. We will get the answer. So VRMS 2 is 1.3 uh, VRMS 1 and divided by uh, VRMS 1. Not given the value, just put as VRMS1. Uh, so we can cancel, you see. And then the temperature already in Kelvin. Good lord, yeah? Uh, already in already given Kelvin. So no need to change already because already in SI unit. Yeah? Remember the temperature need to be in SI unit. For this equation, the temperature you must change to SI unit first before you substitute. Okay? So, uh, we need to find temperature 2, okay, so temperature 2, uh, and then divided by temperature 1, which is uh, 310 Kelvin, already in SI unit. Uh. So, okay, so then you can simplify, cancel the common, and then you just use a calculator to find the temperature 2. So, what answer for temperature 2? So I calculated, I get uh, temperature 2 is uh, uh, 523 Kelvin. That's it. Uh, so it's logic, yeah? Um, it's logic because, um, uh, you see, uh, VRMS2, VRMS2 is faster than VRMS1. Yeah, faster. So uh, this one travel faster. So of course it is in a higher temperature. Uh, this this one must be at a higher temperature. Uh, five hundred for well, temperature one is only three hundred. Temperature two is go to five hundred. Uh, so when you go to higher temperature, uh, the gas particle also move faster. At higher temperature, 
the root mean square velocity of gas particle become faster. At higher temperature, the gas molecule move faster. Higher kinetic energy, higher internal energy. Okay, so that's it for this question. Okay, thank you. So, see you in the next video.